It's estimated 4 billion global citizens live without household toilets. Tessa Adams lives at the Greenpoint Informal Settlement, which has no toilets. The 61-year-old says she has endured inhumane conditions for the past 15 years. This has left her frustrated. We are using the, 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 the trench for, for, for toilets and, and it's a health risk for our babies and our elderies. And many things can happen because they're going to rape them, they're going to kill them and, and so forth and what, what will uh, we do. Her neighbor shares similar sentiments. We don't have toilets. If your child wants to go to the toilet at night, they have to do it somewhere in the yard. These trenches are disgusting. They promised they would give us toilets and water and that we would be surveyed, but we are still waiting. Officials say the mushrooming shacks contribute to the backlog. The bulk of it now is on informal stands that we need to address. Um, the housing backlog in the Northern Cape is sitting at around uh, 53,000. So you'll see the extent of work that needs to be done. Our biggest concern is obviously in Kimberley, um, where we led to believe that the informal settlements, um, there's around about 12,000, uh, between 10 and 12,000 uh, buckets uh, being used on the informal stands. The Water and Sanitation Department will hand over thousands of flush toilets to Uppington residents on Friday. On Sunday, the United Nations will observe World Toilet Day. Their target is to ensure global access to sanitation by 2030. Nolutanu Makani, SABC News, Kimberley.